fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're in the beautiful town of Colmar, France, to talk about the don'ts of visiting Colmar. And when you're going around here, you might get a bit of a Disney vibe when you're here, because this is the town that inspired them when they were making Beauty and the Beast to make it up. That's why when you see people opening the windows, you're like, is Belle right there? And look, is that the fountain that she was at? And so you get that vibe when you're here, and it's really fantastic. And what's funny is, if you look at the tourism information on Colmar, one of the big things they promote is Little Venice. Well, here's my thing. Don't think Little Venice. Don't think of Italy when you come here. Think of Little Strasbourg when you come here with all the half-timbered houses and beautiful churches and fantastic food. You need to have that mentality, not the Italy mentality. Now, having said that, I'm not saying don't think there is a little Venice part when you are here, because actually you can take these flat bottom boats for, you know, 25, 30 minute ride along some of the little canals that are around here. You can do that and I do recommend it, but you know, so don't skip out on it. But honestly, don't think Venice when you're here, think Strasbourg, think half timbered houses, think Disneyland kind of stuff, because it is just one of the prettiest towns you can come to in France. Because honestly, my next don't for you is don't be surprised when you're just walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and walking and it's just beautiful house, beautiful building, beautiful store, beautiful building, beautiful building. Oh, look, there's some storks on there. There's some storks on there. What's the stuff on the walls? It's just an incredibly beautiful city, okay? Walking around the downtown, you will constantly be looking around and seeing cafe after cafe after restaurant, of course. But you have to realize is this is a town that you're going to walk around a lot. So if you're going to come, even if it's just a day trip when you're here, bring good walking shoes because you're going to want to walk wherever you are, okay? Now, I will say, don't think you have to take the tourist train when you're here because this is France and anytime you got tourists in France you know they've got the little tourist trains. You can take the tourist train from Unterlinden uh, Museum, it's right by there. You can take that and get a nice overview of the city and the town and it really is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous and honestly just, just look around everywhere you'll be like wow, wow, wow. Now I did mention you're going to see a lot of restaurants when you are here because this really is a tourist town and I'll talk more about that later but really what I got to say is don't miss out on the Alsatian food when you're here and the restaurants in general are dominated by Alsatian cuisine which is not your typical French cuisine of escargot and steak fleet no 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 here Alsatian food has got a lot of influence from Germany because it's really I mean let's be honest Alsace has gone between Germany and France a few times over the years and you actually have like um, choucloute which is sauerkraut with some meat you know you have sausages on there maybe some ham some you know pork belly some pork shoulder that's fantastic tot flambe or flammkuchen which is, looks like a flatbread pizza but instead of the marinara sauce it's got uh, like a, a white cheese creamy cheese there oh it's fantastic tons of versions of that you can get you know pork shoulder itself you can get so much great food when you're here like the backhofer and things but realize that the food here can be quite filling it's not the dainty portion you feel healthy after you've eaten it kind of french kind of stuff this is a hit you in the gut you're full i'm here to drink and have fun and be a tourist when i'm here it gives you that energy to do those things okay but i will say if you're going to be here and you're going to be eating here don't forget that the restaurants, a lot of the kitchens close from two in the afternoon until seven at night. So if you're here, make sure you're eating lunch at lunchtime. And if you're here at dinner, you're gonna have to eat from the seven to 10 window. Now there are some places like the place right back here, they actually are open in the afternoons, you can get that. But honestly, it is a bit much, so just be ready for those closing times. Also, if you're coming here, you know, on a Sunday night or a Monday, a lot of the restaurants are closed Sunday night and Monday all day. So you might want to be looking around to see who's open on Unity so you can make sure you get some of the fantastic Alsatian food when you're here. And I will say, if you're going to spend a long time here in Alsace or in Colmar in general, um, I will say don't get burned out by the Alsatian food because the vast majority of the restaurants here in the Old Town our Alsatian cuisine, okay? Now when you're here, obviously you're gonna do more than eat and then walk around and stare at these beautiful buildings. You also probably wanna to go to some of the museums. And one thing I gotta say is don't miss out on the Unterlinden Museum because inside they have the Isenheim altarpiece and it's just this incredible altarpiece. What's cool, it's like the altarpiece, it opens up and it has different panels in there and they have it taken apart. So you can actually see all the different panels that are there. And when you go around, they actually have like little displays. So you can see how it looks if you would, you know, if they moved them and it is just incredible and they have a great collection of ecclesiastic art there it is just fantastic to go through well worth visiting it's also right where the tourist train is and right behind there is where the tourism office is so you can grab a 
you know, a, a map of the city and get some other ideas of stuff to do. Um, but I will say, don't think that's the only museum here. They've got a museum with chocolate. They've got a toy museum here. There's a plenty of other, you know, little museums you can visit while you're here. And, and one thing I got to say is um, don't be weirded out when you see a lot of Statue of Liberties here. Look. Bertoldi, the, the artist that created the Statue of Liberty, is actually from here. So they have a Bertoldi Museum you can go to. If you're driving in from Strasbourg to Colmar, yes, that was a replica of the Statue of Liberty you drove by. Sadly, if you're taking the train in, you won't see it, but you will see the Statue of Liberty and like maybe a little signs on the ground of it popping up. So you can check that out as well. Now, another thing that the Alsace region is really famous for is their wines. Their white wines are fantastic. The Rieslings, oh my God, that, that's my go-to here. But there's a lot of different wines you can try in this region and there's actually a route to Vaughan here that you can take and you can go to different vineyards and do that there's tours that are do it or you can do it yourself but that is one of the nice things that's here because Colmar is kind of considered the capital of the route to Vaughan d'Alsace the capital of the wine route of Alsace uh, if you will when you're here but I will say don't worry if you don't want to go to the vineyards and you still want to enjoy the wine the Vinstube or the, the wine stores the wine shops the, the eateries around town all have the wine for you to enjoy. And what's cool is, don't think they're gonna press you into drinking anything else but the local wine and the local beer because Alsace is actually famous for its beer and its wine. So either way you wanna go, you're gonna be fantastic. I know I had one, uh, L'Esteval, which I think that's how you say it. It's a, it was a beer that actually had like raspberry flavor in it. It was actually super refreshing. If you can't tell, I'm getting a little hot here because it can get warm, but that was one of the most refreshing beers I've ever had, so you can have that. But the wine and the beer, don't worry, sitting out in a cafe and just having some will just make your day be wonderful when you're here in Colmar. Now, another thing I gotta tell you is, um, don't think that Colmar is the capital of babies in France. Because when you look around, you're gonna see stork after stork after stork. Maybe it's on a sign on a building, or maybe it's a plush animal, maybe it's socks. I mean, there's so many stork things here. You're thinking, is this where they come to pray to get pregnant? I'm kind of confused. Now, it's romantic enough to be a baby capital, but in real life, like, realistically, the reason why you see the storks everywhere is because the stork is the symbol of Alsace, this region. That's why it's there, okay? And speaking of the region, another don't I have for you is don't kind of disparage or talk bad about Alsace because the people here in Alsace, Colmar, Strasbourg, this area, they are Alsatian first, second, and third, and then they're French. Okay, so make sure you enjoy their cuisine, their food, their people, because they really have that. And so when you go to restaurants, it'll have a section that is just Alsatian specialties. Not just, oh, we have all of our dinner menus. Like, oh, there's dinner stuff and Alsatian specialties. Or you'll see this A that looks like it's part of a pretzel to show that this is an Alsace specialty. Now, when you have a city that's as beautiful as Colmar, you know you're gonna have a lot of tourists. And the thing is, you have Strasbourg that's nearby, you have Germany that's nearby, you have Basel and Switzerland that's nearby. There's trains that come directly from Paris in like two and a bit hours to get here. So on the weekends, don't get scared off by the tourist whores that come here because this place gets packed on Friday night and all day Saturday, Saturday night, and a bit Sunday morning. The rest of the week, it really is empty. You have the city to yourself. I mean, look at me. I'm here on a Tuesday morning just <sighs> relaxing away with no problems at all. You can get to any of the restaurants, you can go to the bars, you can have all the time and all the space in the world. But man, on those weekends, it can be crazy. Also, don't forget, this is also a very popular place at Christmas because Strasbourg is like the capital of the Christmas market time in France. And this is like the mini capital. <laughs> you know, if that's the city capital, this is the town capital of France for Christmas. And they do up the city. And you can imagine with all this half-tempered house and all the signs, just how beautiful it is with the market stalls around and the food that's here as well. Because yes, there's even more Alsatian specialties at Christmas time that you'll have when you're here. But it will be really full of tourists. So don't let that scare you off. So make sure you're going to reserve your room earlier. Make sure you're reserving that table for dinner on Fridays and Saturdays nights and pretty much any time during the Christmas season so you have that kind of ready for you. And, and I'll be honest, I recommend staying here. We've been staying here for four days and it's been wonderful, but I know some people don't have that kind of time. So don't forget, you can use this as a day trip from Strasbourg. It's like 30, 45 minutes to get here, no big deal. You can go down to Basel, direct train down to Basel in 45 minutes. If you want to go to Paris, there's a direct train in like two hours and a bit, or you transfer at Strasbourg to get here. It's a very easy place to get to and an easy place to fall in love with. 
And another thing, if you want to have this calmness during the week here, but you're going to be here a bit longer, you can use this as a base. And don't forget to go see some of the places that could be day trips from Colmar instead of Colmar being that day trip. So you could go to Strasbourg, you can go to Basel in Switzerland, you can go to Milan. You have all these other places you can go and then come back here and enjoy this quaint, beautiful old town. things I've really enjoyed is when I walk around and take in all the buildings what you'll notice is you know the the art that's on the side of the buildings but also some of the interesting things that are hanging on the side of the buildings like there's a building that has hearts on it there's another building that has you know water pails like on there to, to water flowers on there there's paintings with the storks on there there's all kinds of stuff that's there but also there's the old you know hanging signs out some of the buildings and out some of the stores. It's just a really great place to be. And honestly, if you get a chance, if you're in the eastern part of France or the very southwestern part of Germany or western, you know, north, northern, western, you know, Switzerland, you can't pass up a chance to go in Colmar because this place is fantastic. So I wish you all the best. I hope this helps you understand what to do and don't do when you come to Colmar. I love this place. And one of the great things about it is actually my family came from here. My great-grandfather's great-grandma's family was here and actually we got to go to the church they used to go to when they lived here so that was kind of cool for me as someone that really loves France and really loves this town to know that I had a connection here so I wish you all the best and I'll say au revoir from here in Colmar and you should definitely visit maybe you want to learn more maybe the Eats of Alsace go check it out on our Walters World Eats channel or if you want to learn more maybe the don'ts of visiting Paris we have that on our Walters World channel but we want to say merci or thank you for joining us here in Colmar.